I am back again with the Webastardo version 3 uh, ECU controller that we're trying to modify to run our Chinese diesel heater. And I think this is part 3 of the video. If this is part 3, and this is me just realising I've not actually explained why we're doing this, which uh, I can't believe I haven't explained it just now. So the reason I'm doing this, well there's two reasons. One is Nobody's made uh, another ECU for the diesel heater. I've had a few emails from people that are making them, but it's never actually turned into them actually having a finished product. And I mean, they offered to send, send me one once they were ready, but hey, I know how life goes. Things get in the way and you just don't get time to finish things and things like that. So we don't have another, basically, the only ECUs we can get for these are the ones that come with them and the ones that the Chinese ECU manufacturers are making. Nobody has an open source DIY one you can do, so we're kind of doing that because basically the Wabasado, if it's got a fuel pump and fans, you can run it and it'll produce, well, it makes the heater run. The second reason is to be used for the self-powered diesel heater. When we're running that, we want a constant body temperature because we want the hot side of the tegs uh, to be at about 250 odd degrees and keeping and maintaining that with the normal diesel here it's slightly challenging because you have to keep all on the fuel and then it depends on the air temperature and then change the fuel in. whereas with the webastor though we can take one of the thermistors which is probably be the water temperature sensor one and we can put it on the housing and we can tell the Webastardo to maintain, I don't know, a body temperature of 150 degrees. And it'll throttle the fuel up and down in the fan and try and keep the body at 150 degrees so that we'll have our tegs on our hot side of our tegs and they'll stay at 250 no matter what's happening else around about it. Because when we're doing that, we'll probably take the blower fan off of here so it's not changing the airflow speed. We'll just have a fan set at a constant speed and it'll just maintain a hot air output and obviously it'll just throttle up and throttle down depending on what the ambient temperature is. So today, well no, it ran yesterday because I've been tweaking the code, I've adjusted a few things to get it to start most times. So now it's sat overnight and I do have a history of things not running the next day. But we're back again today and today I'm going to take the top cover, cut a hole in it and slit it so we can fit over the wires and then put the cover back on so it actually puts hot air over there and we'll see if it runs so i'm gonna make a hole in this put it back together and then we'll see if it fires up i'll bring you back for that okay i've sort of nearly got it working it's hopefully gonna restart again in a minute Hopefully. Should the exhaust temperature ever climb down from the stratosphere. I've had to tweak the flame sensor bits. So I might need to play with this resistance reading. Because I've had to tell, I uh, imagine the glow plug resistance is probably different anyway. And ours is in a different spot than it would be in the Webasto heater. So I don't think it gets just as hot where it is. So I have to tell it it's hotter so it thinks it's lit. But it is cooling down. Mostly. As you can see there, it's trying to cool down to less than 150. And it's getting there slowly. I mean, it's still pretty hot. Well, I don't think it's 150 degrees hot, so we're slightly off in that respect, but... I mean, do I tweak it a little bit? Do I make it 0.8? Just to try it? Let's try 0.8, let's just... Flash that. And then it'll reset and it'll start back up again. And oh, it's loud. 
So thankfully I haven't recorded all of this video for, for you because most of it's me tweaking a thing at starting and stopping and going, why did it do that? And then me doing the same thing and going, why did it not work this time? Basically like three or four hours of me going, why is this not working? Okay, so we'll try starting again and we'll see what temperatures we get this time. A bit of prime, a bit of light. And then hopefully we'll go through the firing up sequence. Makes that horrible noise, like it's up to fan speed. And we'll sit there for a little bit till we run out of glow plug. Once the glow plug goes out, that's when it starts to read the exhaust temperature from the glow plug itself. Once it stops using it as a glow plug, it uses it as a temperature sensor. Plug's gone off, exhaust temperature's now as hot as the glow plug was, and then we'll see it drop because the glow plug's not as hot when it's burning. And then we'll see the exhaust temperature start to come up, and as long as that goes above 75 degrees, it thinks it's lit. That's fine, if it stays about there, that'll be good. That'll be fine. And then we want to go from firing up to increasing burn. Well, I can't tell if it needs to see a change in water temperature. So I'm gonna grab the thermistor with my finger and make the temperature go up a little bit. Okay, increasing fueling. So it's now going to put the fan speed up. Not seeing the fueling come up though. So it's doing it, it's absolutely running. And as long as the exhaust flame stays up where it is, it'll keep thinking it's lit. I might have to tweak that setting again. I thought it would put in more than 1.8 of fuel. So if I take the water temperature and kind of poke it over near the hot air, it should go up. And we should hopefully see decrease burn. Maybe. I'm trying not to get it too hot because this temperature sensor is pretty crappy. See it do a decreasing burn. It's all good to running there, that's a start.
increasing and decreasing the fan. Yay! Fuel's dropping down. Excellent. It's doing the thing. It's attempting to maintain the temperature. Nice, that's what we wanted. Let's shut it down again. Oh, I've done it again. That's another... M I think I've melted the fan MOSFET this time. As it's uh, rather hot. Uh, glow plug survived, fuel pump survived, uh, I think the fan MOSFET is now fucked. I think I might have to upgrade my MOSFETs for this board. They're not quite up to the task. Now, some kind person did leave in the comments the probably the best MOSFETs that should be getting used, so I'm going to go back and read those comments and find out which ones it is. Order those MOSFETs and build a board, not build a board, unsolder the ones I've got on another board and solder those MOSFETs in and maybe get some more heat sinks. But, at the moment, it starts, it runs, it keeps going, I have a feeling I just pressed a button on my microphone there, nope, nope, we're okay, uh, sorry, uh, it'll start, run and maintain a burn and a temperature and a running, which is what we want. So we have an ECU that will run a Chinese air diesel heater. Okay, great. We can now go from there. Well, going from there is me going and ordering MOSFETs and soldering them to another board. Okay, welcome back when I've done all of that in a different video. Any questions, comments, any help you could possibly leave, please, for the love of God and all that's holy, leave them down below. I need all the help I get. Thanks for watching. Thank you.